Hey Adrian, let's take a look at your sports photos. Only 366 of them that so far going through your classmates photos that is the least amount if you can believe it so um, take more photos and make sure you're not deleting anything you are deleting photos so yeah stop deleting photos I want to see every single thing you take even if it's out of focus so that might contribute contribute to your uh, number. All right, here we are. I'll get through a few of them, and then we'll look at your settings once you get your bearings. All right, five hundred. That's perfect. That's where your shutter speed needs to be. You listened. Uh, four. That's probably as big as your aperture will get. You have it on aperture priority. 1600 I would go up to even though it's gonna be grainy as can be 3200 it's gonna be noisy and grainy but um, everything else looks good all right so you're shooting from up in the stands for these it looks like Maybe not. Who's this guy? He's fine. No, you're fine. Well, maybe not. All right. So after uh, talking in class, you probably realize that you need to be on the side of the field. Um, you can get photos from where you are, but it's just, um, that's where we're supposed to be. Alright, getting a little motion in here. It seems like maybe if you went up to 3200, you could have gotten a little bit faster of a shutter speed. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's a nice photo. Alright, and also being in the stands or wherever you're standing, um, you're not able to move around like you could on the field. So you need to be in front of the quarterback um, most of the time. So you can get plays like this. him again alright here's no that didn't pay that the out of focus photos every once in a while are totally normal I think you um, already I think you deleted some, which is fine. I mean, it's not fine that you deleted them, but, you know. It's a nice photo. I think this is the one that you turned in. Actually, I'm sure it is. So, a little straight. Care about these people. Something like that is pretty strong. Alright, again, I'm not going to keep harping on this, but uh, ISO up higher 3200 or 6400, and that would just make your uh, lighter exposure to be better, more accurate. And uh, these shadows, we would be able to see better, would be so dark. I meant to look at that guy. I guess I kind of did. I don't know you, sir.
see again you're behind the quarterback you kind of need to be in this direction where he's passing so you get that front angle of him and hopefully whoever he's passing to good job taking a photo of the scoreboard so you know where we are what's going on this could lead to something let's see if it does and it did not. Is your focus on the back of the camera? I, I think we've talked about this before, but if we haven't, it should be on the button on the back of the camera. And I don't know if that would help with this photo, but you see that it's back focused. Ah, that's a really good play, actually. Um. Yeah, this would need a caption explaining what's going on, but this is a keeper. It looks like they knocked the ball out of his hands for a turnover. That's nice. For the crop, that works. Oh, it gets better. That one's better. Watch your uh, feet and stuff cutting people. All oh, these people. Let anybody stand down there. Um, that's nice. That's a nice celebration. Or he's fixing his helmet, one of the two. nice yeah that's that's good all right this is fine uh, you know this guy is gonna kick the ball and it's gonna be this kind of shot um, you know not that interesting unless you're doing a story on this guy where the action is is where the ball is gonna land and that guy running and Receiving brain damage trying to get it down down the field. Looks like a play. It's hmm. a nice little play. Ball's hidden. Not your fault. Huh. Uh, I wish you would have done something interesting. That's really graphic. Halftime show. Uh, what's going on here but that's fun to look at uh, <clears throat> all right you're down on the field now what happened how'd you get there what's going on you mustered up the courage good for you <laughs> it's the end of the game okay. all right next time you know oh it is next time and you knew Let's see what's going on here Alright, so why, uh, well, okay, you can look at this and know why, I don't even have to tell you, should I, well, I'm going to, because I'm supposed to, uh, shutter speed's way too low, it needs to be 500th of a second, it's really as slow as it should go for football, 
Yeah, shutter speed shake rule, you're using a 300 millimeter. It would need to be at least 300 of a second or faster for the shutter speed shake rule. And with that said, this is kind of cool. <laughs> you can actually, you could get a really cool shot with these settings, but it would it would be tough. And the newspaper would not be happy if you went back with all blurry photos. But if you're just having fun... Alright, uh, not completely sure what that was all about. That maybe got there too late or something. Alright, on to tennis. Dang, I, I guess you couldn't have, uh, but fr framing, well, you could have. Like this shot with them playing would have been nice. Kind of a nice overall. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah, I would have moved. I would have lined myself up with this thing and moved my back all the way, gone back as far as possible and gotten trying try to get them playing. And you know, hopefully they'll run up on each other or something. That makes any sense. Alright, he's ready to get back to it. Changed your position, which is good. Looking at your settings, you're at 100. I really don't go below 200, just because there's really no need to, and it gives you better latitude with your exposure. Um, shutter speed needs to be faster. You're on program mode, so uh, aperture or ISO up and then shutter speed needs to be 2 50th of a second or higher F or faster is what I mean to say these are uh, pretty um, pretty basic If you're not understanding this exposure thing, let me know. If this was just a mistake and you weren't checking the back of your camera, you're all caught up in the moment, that's understandable. But if if you thought if you don't understand why these photos are not sharp looking there. I would have focused on him just because he's got the cleaner background. Alright, um, let me know if you have any questions at all, and I will see you on Monday, buddy.